Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this cantilever beam with a uniformly distributed load of 4 kN per meter. So we have to find out the support reaction for this beam and to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. The total length of the cantilever beam is given to us which is 5 meter and here is the cantilever beam so it is only one support which is a fixed support here represented by A. So first of all we have to find out support reaction so it is RA and also the moment here at this point which will be moment MA. The horizontal reaction of this support will be equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on this beam. Now to find out first of all this RA so RA will be equal to the total load acting on the beam. The total load acting on the beam is this uniformly distributed load so it is 4 kN per meter multiplying it with the distributed length which is 5 meter so meter meter will be cancelled we got here 20 kN. So 20 kN is the total load acting on this beam so which will be only resisted are taken by this support which is RA so RA comes out to be 20 kN. That is very simple and straightforward that you find out the total force acting on the beam and that will be the support reaction here at the fixed support. Now to find out the moment in A, so again the force which is 4 kN per meter multiplying it with the 5 meter on which it is distributed so we got here from here we got here 20 so it means 20 kN force is acting at the midpoint of the beam because we convert now the, point, the uniformly distributed load into pointed load now this load here which is 20 kN will act at the center of the beam so it means here at this point the distance from the A point till to the load will be 5 divided by 2 so it will be 2.5 meter so the moment arm is 2.5 meter for this load to create the moment about point A so moment at the A point will, will comes out to be if we multiply so we got here 50 kN meter so it means that the moment at this point is 50 kN meter so these are the support reactions now to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so here the moment we found out it was 50 kN meter and the support reaction here at this point was 20 kN so first we have to draw the reference line for the shear force and bending moment diagram so these are the reference lines this one is for the shear force this one is for the bending moment so the shear force represented in kilonewton and bending moment in the unit of kilonewton meter. So now to start with this, the shear force here, the reaction at this spot is 20 kilonewton. So it will be here move in upper direction because the force is acting in upper direction 20 kilonewton. So this 20 kilonewton is acting in upper direction. Then there is a distributed load which is acting in the downward direction which is 4 kN per meter distributed over the 5 meter length so 4 into 5 which it comes out to be 20 so it means it is decreasing then because it is acting in the upper direction this force and then we have downward forces so it will bring the shear force downward and 20 was upward force in the total downward force this total downward force is also 20 kN but it is acting downward so it will be subtracted so plus 20 was here and minus 20 we got 0 at this point 0 0 is the reference line so this is the shear force for this beam shear force diagram now to uh, draw the bending moment diagram it's very really simple and easy first we know that at this point it is 50 kN meter is the moment so 50 kN meter is the moment at this point and then simply at this point there is no support so the moment will be equal to zero so we can directly draw a line here so this will be the moment diagram for this beam and this will be the shear force diagram we can also find the moment in another way for example this moment it's the uh, moment from the area of the shear force for example the area of the shear force this one is it is a triangle so half base into height so half 
base is this distance which we have 5 meter multiplying with the height which is 20 so if we do this so uh, 20 will be cancelled 10 into 5 we got 50 so this is also the way that if we have if we know the area of the shear force so this will be the moment value of the bending moment so hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force to find out the support reaction and to find out the bending moment values uh, at the respective points and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video